so my first uh, judo uh, judo coach, like he sees me posting that stuff and he's like, okay, you got to stop posting this crap, man. You know, it's silly. Like you're getting, you know, you're, you're posting videos of you getting your, you know, like thrown in judo and getting punched in the head and kicked in the head and all that. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean, but I know how he is, you know, because him, it's, it, he has, uh, you know, as a fighter and as a, com- a high level competitor himself, like in judo back in the day, like there's a lot of pride that comes with uh, being at a certain level in judo. You know, that's what, that's the way he learned and stuff like that. So it's like, like in his mind, it's like, you don't let anybody, you don't smile. You don't, you know, like if somebody throws you, you don't like laugh and, and, and tell them, Oh, that was a nice throw. It's like, no, you get up, you get up angry. And then you try to, to smash them afterwards, you know, and funny story. So that's where he comes from. Like, there's a lot of pride and it's like, you can't, you can't get thrown and then take it lightly. And no, no, you have to come back with a vengeance, you know, and show this guy that you mean business. Even if you get your ass kicked, doesn't matter. You want to show this guy that, you know, that, that you're a warrior, so to speak. So <clears throat> that's his mindset. I remember we're in a bar once and, uh, you know, we're now we're in a club actually. And then some guy came up to me and we're having drinks. And then one of his friends came up and he grabbed me. He's like, oh, you do judo. Eh? And then he, he did like, uh, he grabbed me and started like uh, putting me in a position to, to throw me and stuff like that. And I was just like, I was just letting him do it. I was laughing it off. Yeah, yeah, whatever. And then the next day, I got so much flack for that. And my judo coach was like, never again. You let somebody touch you and play judo with you and you don't respond. If somebody like touches you and starts, oh, you do judo? Oh, yeah. And then he grabs you and try, he's like, you slap, you throw him on his head directly. I'm like, well, we're, we're, in a, we're in a club. He's like, yeah, it doesn't matter. Throw him. You know, you have to have, you know, so, so he's a little bit insane in that regards, you know, I didn't know where he's coming from, <laughs> but you know, to me, I'm like, okay, you know, he's, he's, I understand. Uh, but I think I'm able to, at this point where I am in terms of uh, my mindset competition and all that, I could turn it on when I want to, I don't have to be on all the time. You know, I don't have to be like in that, in that, in that mode of uh, like, even when I'm, when I'm training at the club and I'm doing randories and, you know, in Jude and all that, I don't need to dominate a hundred percent. If you throw me, it's not a big deal. Like I'm not gonna, you know, but if we were competing, yeah, I could turn it on and now it's going to be serious, you know, but I think with him, he wanted me to keep me in that state, like all of the time, you know, but I think there's a little, little bit of ego there too. Um, which I have less and less as I get older, I, I don't have this ego thing anymore, but when I do go in competition, like my mindset is more, I'm focused. I'm there to kick some ass and show off. And uh, other than that, like, it's fun for me. And if I lose, I lose, but I'm playing to win, but it's fun. And I get more excited than anything else, you know? And, and that's, that's what works for me. Everybody's different. I don't know, like what kind of mindset you have when you go into, you know, a competitive mode. Well, it used to be, uh, you know, I'm just going to smash face. Right. Mm-hmm. But once I, you know, from my first uh, Muay Thai fight, um, the mindset was different. I was like, I want to go in there and not just win, but I want to win with style. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I got to look good. Somebody's going to, yeah. Win. Like I, I got to represent, like I yeah. have to win, but I also have to not win with a punch. I cannot win with a punch. Cause you know what everybody's going to say. Oh, he didn't, he didn't even win with Taekwondo loser, fake, fake martial <laughs> art. So, you know, so I had a whole game plan. It just didn't last long enough to finish the entire game plan, but mm-hmm. yeah. So and it's just like now, like I'm not, when, when I go in there, it's not like I I'm going in there cause I want to hurt the opponent. It's like, I'm going to go in there to look really good and sorry, bro, but I'm going to have to step on your face to do that. <laughs> so <laughs> Oops. Uh, uh, unless you kick me in a way I just don't like, then I'm going to smash your face. Like mm-hmm. I can't, it's like, I have this thing. I can't really control, control it, but I can use it where, um, I got like this anger trigger. A lot of people, when they get pain, when they feel pain, they get a fear trigger or, mm-hmm. or a flight type trigger. I get an anger trigger. Like I get angry if I feel like a hard stinging pain, like mm-hmm. it's an anger emotion but what that anger does is it overrides all other emotions. Anger always overrides all other emotions, even fear. It is the strongest emotion. So if I'm feeling self-doubt or maybe standoffish or feeling a little bit of fear, as long as I can make myself feel pain, 
it goes away instantly. I'm mad and I want to crush my opponent's face. Uh, so like I have like stuff I do in fighting where if I feel a little self-doubt or I'm like, I can't go in, this guy's got me red. I'm just like, that's it. Cover up, walk forward, cover up, walk forward. Mm-hmm. Cause I know I'm going to take a hit and it's, but as soon as I feel the pain, everything will be fine again. Cause I'll, I'll, I'll have I, was, the anger. I was just going to joke about that. I was going to say, <laughs> so you, you let you, you walk into a punch to activate yourself, you know, and then yeah, you not in a yeah, dangerous yeah, spot. Do- Right. <laughs> uh, or a knee or some, something that's going to make me feel some stab mm-hmm. so that my self-doubt gets erased. And because I can, when I'm angry, I can think like, cause I ha- I've had enough control or I've had enough experience with adrenaline dumps. I can still control my thoughts and my body and strategize when I'm angry. Cause I don't let it get a certain past a certain point when I still need to get a little bit angry to override all those negative emotions people feel when they're fighting like fear and self-doubt. Self-doubt keeps you from taking action, keeps, makes you stand there, right? So, mm-hmm. so I have little tricks that I do uh, as far as that goes. But as far as my mindset pre-fight, it's like, I just want to go in there and look awesome and win looking awesome. And, uh, you know, ha- even if I lose, have a great, great footage for a highlight reel, test out some stuff I wanted to test out. Like, I still have some techniques I want to test out before I stop fighting forever. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, that's my mindset. So, of course, everybody has a plan until you get punched in the face, like Tyson, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you know, you get punched in the face enough, you get that experience, right? Unless you you right. get brain damage and you you stop, or, but yeah, you get yeah. experience like controlling that that like you get hit and then okay, you get angry, but you can actually think through your anger. I don't, I don't even think I'm at that level because uh, I'm not sure if I would I'd be able to think if I was angry because usually anger clouds judgment and then it does, all yeah. of a sudden you. You don't see clearly. You don't react the same way. You just want you just want to smash, right? So yeah, mm. um, and that's that's how it uh, is initially. But you have to have practice controlling it. And so basically, there's levels to it. You when you get angry, you start to feel your anger rise, right? Mm-hmm. So what you do is when you feel it rise a bit, you're like, okay, now I'm gonna use my willpower and I'm gonna stop getting angry. But I already have some adrenaline in my system. So I'm going to use that to amp up and my higher functions are going to strategize why, while my lower functions who are now slightly, you know, amped up Mm -hmm. from a little bit of anger being allowed to creep in, I'm going to have that extra snap. It helps make you untired when you were tired. It's a, it's like a, it's like a using a performance enhancing drug that your own body makes. As long as you can have, get that fine line of just enough to where it doesn't, do too much and then you have an adrenaline dump and then you're you're screwed you lost if you have an adrenaline dump you lose your your opponent is going to use you as a heavy bag oh um, yeah yeah it's like kind of like um so you want to you want to achieve what i would call um bruce banner um results so <laughs> remember remember the incredible hulk the movie yeah okay yep. with uh with edward norton mm-hmm Okay, so yeah, the 2009 that, one, yeah, yeah, that was 2009. Okay, Man, I that think was it was, like that. but that was, in my opinion, the best Hulk like I ever seen. Because the first Hulk, the one where it was directed by Ang Lee, he looked mm-hmm. like a soft, looked soft, pudgy, you know, and it was romanticized, like I don't know, a little bit too much. It was still good though, I still liked it. But then when I saw the Incredible Hulk with Edward Norton, that Hulk looked really pissed. He looked mm-hmm. really angry and he had a manly face and he just like, you know, he looked like a straight up killer. And at the end of the movie, um, this, so I, I'm getting to my point is that he, he, he wants to learn how to control the Hulk, right? Because he just doesn't want to like uh, get slapped and then after that turn into the Hulk and then destroy everything and wake up and like, oh, well, what did I do? You know? So at the end of the movie, I don't know if you, you remember, but he's meditating. He's like, like, like out in the middle of nowhere. And he's in a cabin and he's there on the floor meditating. And then he's working on getting his heart rate up. So he gets his heart rate up to like, he's, he's getting his heart rate up. And then all of a sudden he opens his eyes and they turn green, but then he smiles because now he couldn't, he got, he got the monster like, uh, out, right. but boom, he could control it now. So, right. yeah. 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 So that, that's literally basically what you're doing. Like, or what I try to do when in my fights is, is, uh, I let the anger, yeah. and then stop yeah and just enough just enough to to like you know to awaken that uh the, the beast but not let the beast uh take, take over, over. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> yeah that's basically what I, what i do personally